What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video for tonight. We are playing through Snap Snap. This game is about a journalist who is investigating a strange body at the morgue and when we are finished I think we just end up going home and uh, some strange things are waiting for us when we get home. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what we're working with here. Okay. All right, we're getting thrown right into it. I love it. I love that. My good friend Robert, who works as a pathologist, called me that night. He was very excited and scared. A human body had just been brought to the morgue, but he said that it was an unusual corpse. He recommended that I come as soon as possible. If I wanted to be the first to receive materials for an article that could become a real sensation. After 20 minutes, I was already in the morgue. And what I saw shocked me. Blackened limbs, gray skin, empty eye sockets, teeth of a very strange shape, as if they had been sharpened. An incredible thinness. It was just a skeleton with skin stretched over him. Robert said that the police do not yet have a theory and are waiting for the forensics report. Of course they do not share information. They did not even say when and how the body was found. But there are already a lot of weird things about this body, both with its appearance and the fact that the body has incredibly cold skin and it has not decomposed, although apparently death occurred several days ago. Oh, wow. I'm really looking forward to Robert's conclusion. And tomorrow morning, I'll go to the police station and talk to my friend Fred. Maybe he can tell me some interesting details about this case. I think I've stumbled upon something very interesting. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh. Ah! Oh. Damn it. How did I manage to cut myself? I need to treat the wound with peroxide. Holy crap. It should be in the bathroom. It's a pretty deep cut for a paper cut. Oh, holy crap. We need to bring that sensitivity way down. Hold on, I'm going to go change that real quick. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so we can pick that back up. Item added. Strange photo. Okay. All right, peroxide it is. Okay. So we have the old classic E for interact. I love that. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> They're not wasting any time in this one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be an interesting puzzle to solve. Okay, so we can't go that way. So can we like take these eyes? That would be pretty cool if we could. Wow. This is awesome. I don't know why, but I'm getting like a crazy creepy labyrinth vibe. If you know what that movie is, you're awesome. That's one of my all time favorite movies. That and Willow. Okay, so. Wait, what? Am I just supposed to close all these eyes? Let's try closing all of them. Why not? Uh... Oh, I need to pick up the camera. Okay, so... That's cool. 
I haven't seen that before. You actually take the battery pack out of the charger and put it in the camera like a real L. Oh. What? What the fuck is this? Oh. I need to get out of here right now. Are you serious? We took a picture of him and then he turned into a picture frame and then hit the ceiling. I mean, that's... That's really cool. I love that. That was a cool effect. But yeah, uh, it's cool that you can actually take the uh, the battery pack out of the charging dock, like a like a real D DSLR camera. So let's. Does that open it? Cool. Guys, we have already like just scratched the surface of this game, and I already love it. Damn. I'd have added beer. Okay. We got a tape. Today, when Jack returned from the garage, he brought with him a painting. A stupid painting. It depicts a strange creature. Just the sight of this picture gives me goosebumps. But Jack really liked it for some reason. We agreed that it would hang in his office. True, I felt a little pissed off after he refused to throw the painting away. It scares the hell out of me. I don't want this crap in our house. What? I didn't make this entry. Um, yes, that's for sure. That's cool. I remember thinking about it, but how come my thoughts are on this tape? It's a good question. Now, hold on, where does this stay? The entrance is only open when he is nearby. Okay then, um... Okay. So we have an eight. I did see another one of those right here. Cold beer, he's saying cold beer. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, I will bring you the beer. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's so weird, but awesome. He wants chips with his beer. All right, um... Okay, so I need to put something here to be able to open the door. It looks like some sort of uh, photograph. Okay, this is locked. Okay, there's the key to that. Oh! Snap a pick. When in doubt, snap a pick. Okay. Chips. Perfect. Of course they would be in a child's or teenager's room. <laughs> Another tape. Jack suddenly had a desire to draw. Now he spends all his free time doing that. He mostly draws some kind of abstraction. It was kind of cute at first. Danny drew with him. Jack had never spent so much time with his son before. Danny was literally glowing with happiness. But, but then Jack started drawing terrible things. I don't want to describe it. I never even saw this in my nightmares. He started covering the house walls with his drawings and it infuriated me. On top of that, Danny began to imitate his dad and hung up his drawings. Jack and I had a big fight over this. Not only do the paintings spoil the entire design that I've been thinking through for so long, but the house has also become very uncomfortable and creepy. Okay, so... Oh, here's another one of those. So is that 
purple. I want to say that's purple or blue. So let's do this real quick. We have three of them so far. So this is three. We'll go ahead and try and hold on. Find them all at first. Uh, he doesn't like it when you don't play by the rules. So, is this cheating? We'll set that one. Let's go get the other two real quick. Okay, all right. So number eight and number four. All right, oh! Oh, no, 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 shit. Damn it. So apparently I have to collect all this stuff again. Okay, so the numbers change, which does make it more difficult. It was there last time, one of them was, but it's not the case this time. I need to check my battery, okay, so. Oh. Let's go ahead and give this guy his beer. so much time with his son before. Danny was literally glowing with happiness. But, but then Jack started drawing terrible things. I don't want to describe it. I never even saw this in my nightmares. I, oh shit, I gotta go back and find. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I was gonna say. I need to charge this camera bad. I gotta find it. Oh, okay. I got lucky there. Oh fuck. I need to charge it at the station. I didn't realize it was already dead. Oh, I got lucky. Here it is. Okay, we got a full battery now, so that's good. Kitchen was in here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, okay. Now he wants a steak, which is hilarious. Something strange is happening to Jack. He has become incredibly nervous and irritable and drinks almost all the time. The whole house is already littered with his fucking drawings. At night, he stands for hours in front of that painting he found in the garage and drinks and drinks until he collapses, unconscious, in front of it. I tried to talk to him, suggested that he seek help, but he didn't want to hear anything. When Jack was not home, I found drugs in his office. I think it was LSD. God, help us. In a fit of anger and despair, I threw the drawings in the trash. I was terrified seeing Jack on the threshold of the house with that, oh, with that fucking picture. We started arguing and, and he hit me. This can't go on like it's anymore.
Okay, I gotta figure out. Oh, I got lucky there. I got really lucky. I gotta find this other, uh, this other clue for the, uh, the lock. Oh God, this is intense. Oh, here we go. This is for the crowbar. Okay, so what's in here? Huh. Oh, an eyeball, okay. Okay. So we have the pink eye. <laughs> So I'm just getting lucky here. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, where is that at? Nope, oh, there he is. Okay, so we got... Four. Uh, oh, that's right, I gotta go to close here. Shit. Oh, here's the other one. Two. Oh. Uh, was that yellow? It was two. Yeah, yellow was two. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm screwed. I am screwed. Oh, come on, come on. Stamina needs to go up. Okay, now we just gotta kinda go around and hopefully we won't get attacked by this thing. Okay, okay. So that bought us some time. Shit, where am I? Here we go. So green is five. Now I just gotta find the purple one again. Oh! He was right there. Oh, that was too close. All right, so here's what I'm kind of thinking. Since I can't find this, we're going to try and just pick. There we go, it actually worked. can't believe that actually worked. We just had to guess whatever the last number was by uh, going 
going up and down. <laughs> Hopefully that gave us a checkpoint. We divorced. Danny stays with me, but every other week he will spend time with Jack. I wanted to get a court order that would keep Jack from seeing his son, but as soon as he learned about the divorce, he immediately pulled himself together. Bastard. He accused me of leaving him in a time of need. A blatant lie. How dare he? Well, the hardest part is over, but I'm very worried about Danny. Now he's having the hardest time of all of us. He misses his dad, and after we moved, he doesn't let go of the soft toy with an alarm clock that Jack gave him. All right. We need more eyeballs. Okay, so apparently we can use this painting right here. I'm gonna grab this. Because this is the one that needs to go on that door. Okay, I'm good on battery life on my camera. Awesome. Oh my god. That's cool. Okay, we got another tape. Mommy, I want to move to your place. <laughs> Daddy hurt me. We watched TV and everything was fine. Then the TV played stuff. And Dad told me to hit that damn piece of shit real good. I hit the TV, but it didn't help. Dad screamed that I hit like a girl. He jumped off the couch, grabbed me, and slammed my head against the TV three times. After that, the TV started working. He, he let me go and, as if nothing had happened, sat down to continue watching the movie. That's not supposed to happen. Adults should not hurt children, especially their children. Jesus. Okay. Ah. Oh, damn it. Okay, so it says right here that the entrance is only open when he is nearby. So I'm thinking that when he's nearby, this is going to open for us. So I kind of need to wait for him to come after us. All right, so we finally got in. Okay, okay, good. That took a little bit. I was just kind of going back and forth waiting for him to, to show up. Okay, where's the other tape? Here we go. We're getting closer and closer. We're almost done. Mommy, with, uh, my dad scares me. He started shouting at me that I was a loser and that I should be ashamed. But this is not true. I am an A student. Why is daddy acting like this? He again smelled, he smelled a lot like alcohol. And also, I saw something very scary. He wanders around the house with an ax, but it's not really him. It's not my daddy. It's very similar to him, but at the same time, it looks like a creature from a picture. I am very scared. Please, Mommy, take me to your place. I know you're in the basement. Get out! Otherwise, it'll only get worse. If this simple thing can't fit into your head, then you don't need your head at all. Come out immediately! Come over here!
Yeah, that's insane. What am I supposed to do in here? Uh, I, I don't get it. Oh, okay. Holy sh... Oh, wow. All right, so that was Snap Snap. Uh, this game was extremely weird, but I loved every second of this game, and I loved that it was so weird and different, and the creativity uh, behind this game was amazing. Uh, it's kind of funny, because you see the 1059 dude right there, the, the creepy white face. Uh, I pictured that when the arms give you the key to the kids room after you give them give him the beer and uh, That's the first thing I saw and sure enough the two are uh, two are connected uh, same developer must have made the uh, both games so it explains why this one turned out the way it did because uh, 1059 was another great one. I really enjoyed but yeah this uh, this game there's I don't really know how else to explain it like I wasn't expecting it to be this good and it totally surpassed anything I could uh, possibly imagine uh, I didn't know what to expect I just knew that we were uh, a journalist coming home from a morgue after investigating some strange body and, and then all this crazy shit happens like crazy crazy weird shit and the different puzzles were very very challenging at times but I love how the developer decided to give us checkpoints that definitely made it easier and uh, I was able to get through it, thankfully. It took me some time, but I'm so glad I played through it. I'm so glad I took the time to sit down and work it out. And now I feel so rewarded to get uh, to have gotten through it. So, uh, but all of that aside, I hope you all enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Your support to this channel means so much to me. It really does and uh, consider sticking around and subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I hope to see you all next time.